the first thing I want to tell you about how to get your wife back is that it is possible. Men these days are getting their wife back. If you look at the statistics that are available for how many husbands get their wife back, it's pretty depressing. But that is as a result of men going to psychologists and family therapists, counseling and things like that, and hoping to find the solution there. However, what they find is either a female or male psychologist or therapist who is not an attraction expert. Uh, when getting a marriage back together, a big part of it is about being able to make your wife feel attracted to you again. Of course, that is not the be all and end all, just making her feel attracted. There's more to getting a marriage back together and keeping it back together than that. I know because I am married, I'm happily married now, and I've also helped hundreds of men to get their wife back. I've personally helped more than 100 men via my phone coaching service to get their wife back, and I've helped hundreds of men via my program, Get Your Ex Back Super System. So if you are serious about getting your wife back, here's what you need to do. First, understand what really went wrong with the relationship. Then, start fixing some of your issues and improving on your weaknesses. And finally, understand and use the power of love to get her back. So the first part is understanding what really went wrong. No doubt you're already aware of some of the problems that you and your wife had. But there are also going to be other things that she most likely didn't talk about or doesn't want to talk about or discuss with you. So you're no doubt aware of some of the reasons why she left you, but here are some questions to help you think about some other possible reasons as well. Did you let her wear the pants in the marriage for too long? In other words, did you let her take control and lead the way and boss you around essentially? Did you make her responsible for a lot of the decision making and the direction that your life was taking together? Did you stop making her feel feminine and girly in your presence? For example, did you make her feel like more of a friend? Or worse, did you make her feel like she was more dominant and masculine than you? Were you too controlling and bossy? Did you stop trying to make her feel attracted to you? Did you become emotionally weak? For example, jealous, insecure, emotionally sensitive. Did you say and do one too many things to cause her to lose respect for you as a man? When I've helped phone coaching clients to get their wife back, I often find that the man has been able to maintain a good marriage and relationship with his wife. And they've been able to stay together for many years, but it's gotten to the point where she just isn't happy with the attraction and love experience that she's having in the marriage. For example, sometimes a wife will be happy for many years to go through the standard levels of, you know, getting a house, paying it off together, having children, raising the children up, getting them off to school, etc. There's a lot of things to do, there's a lot of things to focus on, and there are also a lot of times to be happy and have fun together. Yet when those things lose their novelty and are no longer as challenging and exciting anymore, what I've found is that the wife then starts to focus her attention on her husband and wants to feel some excitement and love and attraction for him. She wants to feel something with him. Yet what often happens is that the husband has become very comfortable in the marriage and it's not his fault. You know, you get into a marriage and you've got your wife there and you love each other, you're committed to each other, you do anything for each other and you feel like you're going to be together for life. But unfortunately, life isn't always as easy and smooth sailing as that. The next thing you need to do is start fixing some of your issues and improving on your weaknesses. Some of the issues can include insecurity, jealousy, uh, controlling behavior, etc. Some of the improvements that men can make are in their ability to make their wife feel attracted. A lot of guys, they make the mistake of turning their wife into more of a friend over the years, where they're partners and they're neutral friends together in life. Women do put up with that for quite a while if they're happy in a relationship or a marriage, but if a woman gets to the point where she isn't really feeling excited and happy about her marriage anymore, and then she notices that she's really not feeling much attraction for her man, it starts to make her feel unhappy. Another improvement that a husband can make is in his goals and ambitions in life. Some of the men that I've helped to get a wife back, they fall into that category where they've gotten to a point in their life where they're comfortable and they're not really aiming for much more at all. You know, they might have got a mortgage and they're happily paying that off and they don't feel like they need to be really striving for anything anymore. However, as a result of not really striving for much, what happens for the guy is that he often just spends a lot of time watching TV or surfing the internet or really not doing much at all. The wife then starts to nag him and, and say, get off the couch, do something. 
you know, life is boring, our life's going nowhere, etc. Because she's reacting to the lack of masculine direction that he's just not providing. Compare that to a man who has bigger goals. You know, when he gets to a certain level in life, he then thinks, okay, how can I expand this? How can I do better now? How can I take this to another level? And he's always got something that he's aiming for, and therefore she can be proud of him. She can look up to him. She can speak well of him to her family and friends and co-workers. Okay, and the other thing that you need to do is understand and use the power of love to get her back. One of the great things about love is that it doesn't die. Your wife may have said to you that she doesn't love you anymore, she doesn't feel the same way, and she doesn't want to be with you, but that doesn't mean that the love is dead. It just means that she doesn't feel the same way anymore. She doesn't feel respect, she doesn't feel attraction, and therefore, she cannot connect with the love in the way that she used to. Right? But love doesn't die. It just gets pushed into the background and covered over with more negative emotions, where she feels resentment, a lack of respect, she feels annoyed, she feels agitated, she doesn't feel proud, and she is unhappy with how the marriage makes her feel. Yet that's got nothing to do with love. Love is always there in the background. And you can bring the love back to the foreground again and make her love you again by first focusing on making her feel respect for you as a man. So fixing those issues, the emotional issues, etc. Allowing her to look up to you and respect you as a man. And also then making her feel attracted to you again. Right? When a woman doesn't feel respect for a man, she will find it difficult to feel attracted to him. If she doesn't respect him and she doesn't feel much attraction for him, then she will naturally start to fall out of love with him. She'll find it difficult to connect with the love. The love will be pushed into the background. She won't be connecting with it. However, when you are able to make your wife feel a renewed sense of respect and attraction for you again, she naturally and automatically starts to reconnect with the love. One of the most important things that I tell my clients when I'm helping them get their wife back is to be confident in your ability to make her have feelings for you again. Right? What you need to understand is that human emotions are not set in stone. Human emotions can change. Just because she's feeling negative emotions now, it doesn't mean that she's stuck on those emotions for all of eternity and you can never get her to feel positive emotions for you again. What I've seen is that a wife can literally go from hating her ex-husband and despising him, resenting him, to liking him, respecting him, feeling attracted to him, and loving him again. However, if you continue to make the same old communication mistakes that you've been making with her, and you continue to turn her off, then she's not going to feel that renewed sense of respect and attraction for you. Likewise, if you become an emasculated, self-doubting ex-husband who doesn't feel worthy of his ex-wife, then she's not going to feel respect and attraction for you. You need to be confident. You need to believe in yourself and your ability to make her feel something for you again. You can make her feel something for you again. You can get that spark back and you can build on it. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. And if you want specific instructions of what to say and do to get your wife back, I have an amazing program called Get Your Ex Back Super System. It's 10 hours of video training and it'll guide you through the process of getting your wife back into your arms again. Hundreds of guys from all over the world have already used it to get their wife back and you can do it too. Now that I'm married, I know how important marriage is. I know how important it is to you to have your wife back. I couldn't imagine what life would be like without my wife. You know, I have a very happy life with her and that is as a result of the type of relationship dynamic that I teach in my program, Get Your Ex Back Super System, where she looks up to you and respects you, but where she also feels respected as well. It's not about putting her down, making her lower than you or anything like that. It's simply about being the man that she can look up to and respect, the man that she can feel attracted to, and the man that she's happy to be in love with, proud to be in love with, and excited to be in love with. You can make your wife feel that way.